Thank you for staying with us. Let's quickly bring you some news update at this time. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps has destroyed an artisanal refinery sited in the creeks of River State. The command says it is the latest success recorded in the ongoing offensive against oil theft and vandalism. Senior reporter Uche Okoro has details. Illegal oil bunkering remains big business in the Niger Delta, but Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps believes that they are making progress in tackling the menace. Perpetrators carefully choose terrains that are difficult to access to enable them to operate undetected. But patrols by the NSCDC Marine Unit yielded some results when officers spotted suspicious activity along the waterways of Degema local government area. Further investigation revealed that some individuals had established a base to refine crude, allegedly stolen from a vandalized oil pipeline. Move around this vicinity, you can see all their cooking pots. They tap through the wetheads of Sahara oils and when they siphon the oil they start processing through local means thereby causing environmental degradation pollution of the environment if you go closer you will see where they camp at that other side that is where they lodge and in the night they come out to carry out this activity. The NSCDC describes this as an evidence of their zero tolerance for acts of economic sabotage on critical national assets and infrastructure. While on the operations, the suspects took off to their heels. We are still on the search to know who are the miscreants the unscrupulous elements that are doing this nefarious activity in this place. The NSCDC reiterated the warning to its personnel to desist from facilitating illegal oil bunkering activities or face severe consequences. The command says the public would only be willing to give information to help fight oil theft to security agencies that can be trusted for their professionalism and integrity. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Degema. The Oyo State Government is seeking the collaborative effort of key players in the health sector to curb the menace of neglected tropical diseases in the state. Commissioner for Health, Lua Sherimi Ajetumo B, says proper funding and sensitization is key to achieve this. Olaide Uyewale has details. Neglected tropical diseases are a group of illnesses usually prevalent in tropical regions, particularly amongst people residing in impoverished communities. These diseases are caused by various pathogens, including viruses, bacteria, fungi, amongst others, and they contribute to health issues such as leprosy, guinea worm disease, rabies, amongst others. According to the World Health Organization, NTDs are endemic in 149 countries and approximately 200,000 deaths occur yearly through this epidemic. Concerned about the prevailing spread of the devastating diseases, the Oyo State Government is asking residents affected by any form of NTD to speak up for quick medical attention before it goes beyond control. The long term effects of some NTD diseases can be catastrophic catastrophic, which is loss of life. And the devastating effect of NTDs on our people cannot be overemphasized. Hence the need for all to come together to combat these diseases. Let's create awareness. Let's tell our people that they are not being rejected, but they can come for treatment. And we are going to see that people are not practicing in, um, some form of preventive measures. We can help educate them. During a press briefing, to commemorate this year's World NTD Day, Secretary of the State Primary Health Care Board says the government has made giant strides to control the epidemic through its policies. Uh, we've gotten about 142 cases of hepatic filariasis. 
we've responded appropriately. Uh, we have nine cases of onchocerciasis. And we have uh, some cases that uh, lymphedema that required intervention. And by surgical intervention, we have been able to successfully operate on 10 cases. Uh, 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 above that, we still have provision to even do more than that would I want to operate upon. The week-long 2024 World NTDK celebration has a theme, Unite, Act and Eliminate. And the United State government expressed hope to raise awareness about these diseases through partnerships with relevant organizations and individuals. Olajo Yewale, TVC News, Ibadan. Stakeholders in the Nigeria economic environment have called for an enabling environment in order to protect Nigeria's educational sector. The future development of the country is currently being threatened by the mass exodus of Nigerians from all sectors in what is commonly referred to as Jakpa syndrome. The president of the Lagos Country Club, Sheyad Umi, who led other speakers at the group, raised concerns that uh, with the massive brain drain being witnessed in virtually all sectors of the nation's economy, the future may not be good for Nigeria. Adeomi also urged the government at all levels to fix the alien infrastructure for the economy to grow, implore the youth to have hope in the country. On his part, a past the president of LCC, Tatu Dina Konde, noted that those living to serve and service the economy of all the countries we are creating a gap between the nation's output and input. The Ayonkure of Ikurudu Kingdom, Oba Abdukabu Shotobi, who admonished the youth to be patient, stated that Nigerian youth can school in Europe and acquire more technical know-how and return to the country to impact what they have learned for the economic benefit of their fatherland to continue the good work that they are doing and ensure that they also look into maintenance of infrastructure. I mean, a couple of roads are very terrible and a couple of them are also very good. So if we're able to fix maintenance, that would be a lot better for everybody. I know that it's are not settled, it may not be the way they want the society, but if they leave it to the generation that have been doing it, we will continue to do the same thing we have been doing and there will be no progress. All what I want for the youth is to be patient, to listen to the government. The government will not mislead them to follow the modern smart technology that we are trying to bring into the society. And when we get there, it's no place like home. And I'm hoping that the government too will do a lot of better things to encourage them to stay at home.